Welcome back to The Vocalist. Today, we are listening to the band Alice in Chains, and yes, this is another first time reaction for me. I know I'm going to see it in the comments, so I'm going to try to address the elephant in the room. How am I a vocal coach? And I've never heard these incredible bands from the 90s. The best explanation I can give you is I just didn't grow up listening to this music. I was in elementary school in the 90s, and in terms of my education and my career, I've never had to sing this music. Um, it's never been requested of me, and I haven't encountered very many singers who have brought it to me to work on in a coaching. So it just sort of, it's one area, it's one genre that just kind of went past me. So we're playing catch up, all right? Um, Today, we are going to watch their MTV Unplugged performance of Down in a Hole. Here we go. expecting that duet um I oh I love when there are multiple vocalists in a band I just love when people can you know take turns or they can duet um so I want to hear that again <laughs> I loved that moment because, um, I'm sorry, I haven't learned names yet. I'm going to look those up. But the, the gentleman on guitar here who's singing, he has such a smooth, buttery voice. And we got to hear a little bit more of that um, when the two stopped doing the duet. And he had that little lingering riff. I'm going to play that again. go back but I also loved the way nope I changed my mind as soon as I said it I love the way they said flowers just taking time on every single sound flowers oh
I will not be able to describe this sound. It is so unique. It is, it's almost like he's wailing. It sits in a place that feels high as the listener. Um, and I think part of it is um, how much brightness we're hearing from his tone. Uh, some beautiful nasal resonance, a lot of what I would call forward placement here. Um, but then he's got this grit that comes in every once in a while, this like, this added bite to his sound that is just, I mean, it's very captivating, especially on this particular piece, but it's very unique. Uh, I'm just going to back it up a little bit. He's in turn, like, when he said, look, it feels very contained, almost, like, protected. So I'm curious if this is always his approach to vocal production or if it's just for this particular piece. I don't know. is a very distinct sound from this particular style of music and I feel like it's it's a high root position from the tongue and a lowered soft palate in some in some ways it just it creates this almost like a trumpet mute you know it has this tiny like this thinning of sound but it's still very present and it's a little a little bit of twang I, it's so unique Ugh, I yeah uh, we'll just keep going I have been guilty of kicking myself in the play that again oh I have so many thoughts I the more I hear this duet this pairing the more I love it because um the guy on guitar he has this that sort of um it feels less contained it feels a bit more conversational a little bit more um projected and the 
the lead vocalist, his, I was, th- as he was singing this last time, it has this fragility to his sound. Um, I don't know, almost like I'm visualizing, like pulling on a string to the point that you're not sure if it's going to snap, you know, that sort of like that tension, um, but that brightness at the same time. And so having the two of them together, especially with um, the guitarist kind of keeping this nice steady melodic uh, line going while he add, I think it's an ad lib, while he, you know, adds something to the top of that, they just, it feels so good because it feels grounded, it feels secure because of that steady melodic line we're hearing, but it's so thrilling because of the vocals on top. The other thing I loved is we got to hear a little bit more agility uh, from him much earlier uh, at the end of a, of a line. And that was, I again, I don't feel like you hear that sort of thing very often from, from this style of music. Hmm. a unique voice the more of these 90s bands that I hear it's not just the skill or the range it is how unique the texture and the tone of their voices are it's uh, it's astounding the only other thing I'll say is watching him sing it looked so effortless and I, part of that, I feel he was taking in these incredible breaths. He was so well supported. It's sort of just watching him. I thought to myself, man, that's got to be a lot of subglottal pressure because of the way he utilized his air pressure. Um, but yeah, I think part of it looking so effortless, at least to us, is, you know, he he had that neutral facial positioning. He wasn't involving a lot of muscles. Um but by supporting so much with these incredible breaths, um, he didn't have to strain or reach for any notes. He just kind of set up for them every time and it was incredible to watch. I'm gonna have to, I need to actually go to the piano and tinker around and see what notes those actually were because again, they felt high, but I think a big part of that is just um, the, the characteristics of his voice that makes them sound higher to us than perhaps they actually are. But I don't know. I'm a, I'm going to find out. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching with me and hopefully I will see you next time.